hey guys and welcome to another farm vlog with farmer khalil don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on instagram today's vlog we look into the biggest impact an increase in feed prices and how that it affects our profit margin as livestock farmers what is it that we have to do to increase our feed efficiency to survive such a time but what affects feed prices the major feed ingredient soya bean and corn is produced mainly from us brazil and china once they have any impact with bad weather or like the pandemic causing a great demand this now affects feed prices across the world so what we have to do we have to now sit back and begin what i call a farm optimization operational plan to improve our farm efficiency to measure the impact of feed price increases on animal production system it differ as in monogastric animals like the chicken and pigs have a total different impact compared to ruminant farmers who can now play with what I call forages. How is it that we look into our forages? We have to first try to secure as much as possible and look into new stuff. We want to test and sort our forages by quality. Then plan how is it that we're going to use this forage source that we have. Check out the radar vlog and see how farmers in St. Thomas is securing fodder. Or let us look at Swaby's farm out in St. Elizabeth that's improving their forage plant due to the dry conditions that they have. They have decided now to invest in planting their own fodder. I'm um, looking into developing a fodder bank using grasses and high protein forages to supplement into their diet for their animals. Um, they look at mulberry, you know, wild tambourine, pangola, they are on the ground as the grass which is not the best combination which we'll try to improve as we move forward but they also plan to improve their feed delivery system where now you know they give hay to animals on the outside due to the reduction in pasture or grass quality and they also been very innovative in developing an outside creeper pen so that the kids can get access to their concentrate separately and this is important when we look into how is it that we can improve our concentrate delivery system and what i call target feeding because in this situation we want to give each animal that's in their productive stage the right amount of, of feed and make sure that they get it we have to think alternatives and we have to think about how that we can prevent loss and wastage so a farm audit is important our feed audit then we want to audit our entire farm we'll look into our production so we want to review the production parameters which will build the culling pressure which means which animals we need to remove because they're not productive and we need to re-examine how we do things and we have to start be thinking very innovative in these situations and we're trying to optimize our management and how is it that we do it we look into feed conversion you know we look into the growing environment how suitable it is for what we want and our management decisions to achieve our goals and this is the key to profitability so let's zoom in on each parameter so for the feed impact on performance which are feed conversion we want to look at the daily yield versus the daily feed cost which is you know meat or milk over the daily feed cost the feed cost versus the income and the feed deliver again as in how is it that is the animal actually getting the diet that they are required and so you need to consult your nutritionist to guide you for your feed impact performance then your growing environment and as simple as you see it temperature plays a very critical role in most livestock performance so how is it that we have control over this the carrying capacity are we carrying the right amount of animals and we have to look at the genetics and its impact on the production system that we're having and seeing how we can find towards it that we're really doing to achieve our goal so i really hope this vlog kind of help you guys in this situation and do free to call me we can talk further on improving your feeding system